channel, I'm Brian Fieser. This is my first ever YouTube video and I'm super excited. But I just recently bought the new um, Morphe foundation and concealer. I So I kind of want to test it out, review it, and see how it goes. So this is the foundation and then this is the concealer. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get ready and get started for you guys. So I am really excited to try out the foundation. I haven't even opened it up yet. I don't even know if it's going to really match me. Um, the Morphe line does have 60 shades, which is great, but it was kind of hard to find what kind of undertone I have. And I don't really have a problem picking out my foundation. I can go right up there, pick out my foundation in five minutes, not even. This one was kind of hard just because there are so many different undertones. You have a yellow undertone, you have ashy undertone, you have a gray undertone. So it kind of got a little messy, I feel like, trying to pick out your foundation. Um, so we'll kind of see what it looks like on my face. So I am going to open up the box now, but before it does say it's a full coverage foundation, it's a 24 hour long wear, it's got sweat proof, transfer resistant, and water resistant, it's um, free of oils, fragrance, and parabens, and it's great for all skin types. I do have normal skin type, um, so we'll see how it turns out on my skin. So, But I can't tell you how it is for oily skin or dry skin. Alright, so this is the foundation. Um, I have the color F2.110. Um, so Morphe did also come out with a primer. I am not using it today because they're all out at the store I went to. So, and I have heard that the foundation is like very drying really quick and it is so matte. So I am going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. Um, and I'm just going to take my foundation out and put it on the back of my hand. Kind of scared to see what it's going to look like. So, I'm just going to do a few. And it does smell pretty good. It smells like the MAC um, foundation. We'll see how this looks. It looks a little orange for me. But I do like mine a little bit more darker. Or like a more warm pigment to it. Alright, so I am going to take the sponge that they have and I'm just going to spritz it with some water. Alright. I feel like it's covering pretty good. It does feel like it's drying pretty fast, so... Definitely having a primer underneath and moisturizing your face before will help. Um, it does look pretty, it's very matte. Um, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but definitely in person you can tell it's already really matte. But you do have to see how it's gonna set too. But I do feel like it covered pretty well on this side. Um, pretty even. And I'm going to finish this buffing off. So this is what one layer looks like of the foundation. I did go through with the sponge and then I also went through with the brush and kind of just um, buffed it out. But I don't know if you could tell, I feel like my um, under eyes and my freckles are still kind of showing. So I am going to add just a little bit more of the foundation. I feel like I did have to use a lot of the foundation to get a good coverage. Um, so I am just going to kind of go through again right underneath my eyes and over my nose to cover some of my freckles. But it does feel really matte, which I don't mind a matte foundation. But we'll see how it looks with the concealer. So I feel like that kind of helped give a better coverage underneath my eyes. I'm just going to go over my eyes one more time too. And then we'll start with the concealer. Alright, so this is the concealer and it's a full coverage concealer. It says, um, I'm sure, 24 hour long wear. And I do, I'm in the shade C2.65. Um, I, they did come out with a powder, but I didn't get that also because the store was out. 
So I am just going to probably powder with my um, Laura Mercier translucent powder. So this is what it looks like and it does retail for $9 which I don't think is too bad compared to like a Tarte Shape Tape or um, another brand which it, so it is pretty cheap so I don't even know I didn't even test out this shade on me so I don't know if it is going to be a little bit lighter so I can use that as a highlight um, so we'll see. I do like the applicator though it gives a good um, you can get a good coverage with it so I'm going to put It does feel very heavy or creamy, which I don't mind a creamy um, concealer. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. I am going to kind of highlight with that and contour. And I always put some up here. But it does feel like it's already kind of getting a little dry or looking like that. Um, I do think I could have gone definitely lighter, but we'll see how it turns out. Um, so I'm going to wait to do the rest, and I'm going to take the sponge again and spritz it, and then just kind of go in and start to blend this. And I do feel like it's got a good um, coverage, but it does feel like it's drying really quick. I definitely could have gone lighter with, with the shade, but I was in a rush, so I just picked up whatever. Do the other side. Blend that out. And then I always like to just kind of run over my eyelid with it. So it's kind of got an even balance between under your eye and your eyelid. And then I always make sure I do the inner corners of my eyes because that is the deepest part of your face. So that can help brighten up that inner corner. And I do think it covered really well. Um, it does, It like I said, does look kind of a little drying. But hopefully once I kind of have a powder, it will look um, finished. So do that and then up above here. I think spraying the sponge a little bit with the water helped kind of get that to move because it did dry so quick. Alright, so my under eyes are done, um, my forehead's done, my side of my nose is done, and then I'm, I am going to add a little bit on my sides and then blend that out. I do wish I went lighter with this um, concealer. It definitely does not give me like a good highlight, but like I said with the powder, hopefully that will lighten up and kind of give it a better finish. All right, so this is the foundation and the concealer all together. Um, hopefully it kind of looks a little bit lighter on camera, but in person to me, it definitely looks just like my foundation shade um, so I definitely would go back and get a lighter shade of foundation but um, I am gonna apply my powder to it so hopefully it will lighten up a little bit. Alright so I am going to take a brush and kind of just dust off the excess powder that I used. Um, I do feel like the concealer was a little bit heavy so I would say like using a little bit less would be great um, but I do use a lot of concealer so maybe I just went a little crazy. Um, I also think the foundation definitely needs to be um, set, so definitely a good powder, but I didn't contour with the concealer or like a cream, so I'm going to go back through and use my bronzers and kind of set my face with that. But I did set my concealer with the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder, so I do like kind of like the finish. I do feel like it is a very matte finish. 
Um, so if you like a matte finish, I think this foundation is great. I definitely would use it again, and I think the concealer is great. I just would definitely go back and get a lighter um, concealer because, like I said, I like to use my concealer as my highlight, and I don't feel like it gave me enough brightness underneath my eyes or my, um, my face. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go and finish the rest of my face. I don't know what kind of look I'm going to do today, but um, I'll get back to you guys, and then hopefully even then you can see kind of how long the, or like how the foundation's holding up throughout the rest of my makeup. So this is my final look today, and I love the foundation. I think it has a good coverage. Um, I'm excited to see like what else throughout the day, how, how it's wearing, and I think the concealer is great. It is a very full, like full coverage concealer, but um, I don't know. I think it was a little heavy, but I might have put on a little bit too much. Um, I am just gonna finish up using the Morphe um, setting mist, so I'm just gonna spray that on, and I'm ready. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, it's my first video. I hope to have a lot more videos coming out with different looks that I do. Um, so if you would, you can subscribe down below, and I'm super excited to see what else it brings me. Thank you.